What's up, y'all, and thank you so much for tuning in to another video. My name is Aaliyah. This is, as always, Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Now, y'all, based on the title, we have a cute and colorful product that we will be trying out today. Okay, so you guys did hear me correctly. We are going to be playing with the As I Am Curl Color. This is their Bubblegum Pink Temporary Color. Here it is right here, y'all. So we will be getting into this product today. I am so excited to let you know what tools we'll be using, what hairstyle we'll be doing, and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So I actually did the red color curl color from as i am in the past and that's one of my most popular videos so i'm hoping that you guys will stick around to watch me do it in pink this time okay. right let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna show you guys everything that you are gonna need to complete this hairstyle starting with the rollers so here are my rollers y'all that's how they look i have a big old bag of rollers right here that i am so excited to use i used these jumbo rollers before and i'll have this tagged up here as well also at the end of the video and in the the and in the description below so you guys can check out the first time I actually used these yellow rollers the results were phenomenal and this is how the piece these are called snap on magnetic rollers you just put it right on top and literally snap it on and it stays in place you don't need anything else so that's what we're going to be doing on our hair today you are also going to need a ton of gloves probably not a ton but because I'm going to be touching the camera I'm probably going to be switching my gloves out it's recommended that you use gloves with this hairstyle even though it does say that it's it's temporary that it washes off with soap which I definitely can confirm that it does but you still want to use gloves just so like I got nails like we ain't doing all that friend we ain't doing all that so you are gonna need like an old t-shirt that you don't mind getting dirty it does wash off of your clothes it washes off of your skin it washes off of your hair it's definitely temporary I used it before and I can confirm that it does wash out let's go ahead and keep going I have a brush here this is a detangling brush I used this for my curl color video last time I could not get all the pink out of it so Oh, yeah, we're just gonna use the same one again because I don't want to keep dirtying up my tools I also do have a comb here. I may or may not be using it We have some clips because we'll be clipping stuff up and out the way This is my homemade Aravita mango butter and I made this homemade and I did a video on this I did this a while ago, but because there's only butters and oils in this it does last a long time smells pretty good too so i'm gonna be rehydrating my hair with this product because that's the only thing that we're going to be using besides the curl color gel and last but not least you're going to need your product they have so many colors i'm going to try to shoot them on screen for you right here so this is going to be super exciting we're going to get into this product in one second i was really hoping for like this shade right here where my finger is at but instead it's like this shade up here the first thing that i'm going to do is break my hair down now i don't want a part for this I do have a middle part here. I'm probably gonna wind up combing that out because I don't want to part. Uh, let's do a, let's do a side part. So we're gonna go ahead, y'all. We are getting started with this hairstyle, friend. I'm just gonna go ahead and part my hair into a little side part because that's what I want. All right. So here is my part right here. Cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this side up and out the way. All right. Cool. Now we have a whole section right here, and I'm just gonna break it down in a front half and a back half, just so I'm not dealing with too much hair at once because that can get overwhelming at times i'm going to take that front half and put it up uh pin it up and out the way so we love a broken down section okay here okay y'all look at us we making progress <laughs> all right cool y'all so we are just about ready to begin the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my homemade aravita mango butter and i'm just gonna apply that to the section right here i made this myself i'm gonna include this video at the end i think i already told you guys that but i'm gonna include this video at the end i probably even use way too much that's a lot for this back section here is how it looks it melts it melts in your hand it is um all types of butters and oils and herbs that i use for this so go check that out y'all if you like or if you're into making like homemade butters or you just want some homemade products i got you okay got you this homemade aravita mango butter mm, mm, gonna be your best friend so we're just gonna make sure that has some butters and oils on there so we're all good to go got me smelling good it's nice and soft did that 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna just pop this up and out the way until we move on to another section. I'm gonna break down the sections for my first roller set. I'm gonna put on the gloves in one second. I just wanna prep my hair first and then we'll put the gloves on and start opening the curl color product. So let's go ahead and break this down. Okay, so that's gonna be our first roller section right there in the back of our head. And then this, I'm just gonna pin it up and out the way. So here's our section right here that we're gonna be working with. So here are my gloves, put them on. Six Safety first y'all again you do not have to wear gloves when you're applying the curl color but it makes a lot more easier of a cleanup so you're not sitting there scrubbing underneath your nails so we gonna put this on like that so the reason that I'm not using any products or anything to pair with this gel is because I did it before my results came out really good so I'm just gonna replicate what I've done in the past also it does state that this curl color is a curling gel this is a gel if I don't need any other products this literally is perfect for me I'm applying it on dry hair because I think that the product just turns out so much better and it's more vibrant when you only use this on dry hair it's a gel so it's gonna work perfect so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> all right so here is the product right here again we're just gonna go ahead and start to open it y'all mmm okay Oh, it smells so good. If you guys can see it, it's filled to the brim, so I really can't tilt it too much. I don't want it to spill out, so you guys will see it in one second here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and dip my fingers. I'm going to take two fingers, and I'm going to dip them into the color gel. Wow, it's like super liquidy, very liquidy. It's not gel-like at all, even though it does say it's a gel. This is a very liquidy gel. So let's go ahead and just apply the product. Oh, and I'm only applying probably a three-fourths of the way up because I want my roots to remain black. Okay, apply some more product. I really hope I like this color, y'all. Like, I don't know. And Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so my family's gonna be here. They're like, what you do to your hair? All right, and I'm gonna go in one more time and just apply some more. So that's how it's looking. I'm not a fan of the color, but whatevs. And we're gonna brush it out, so make sure the color is evenly distributed throughout the entire section. All right, so that's like the best that I can do. I really wish it was like a deeper pink. I don't know if you guys can even like see that. I barely can see it. I'm not happy with the color too much, but I'm not gonna give my final review until it is dry and I take these out. Cause I have a bad habit of saying I don't like something and then I wait for it to dry and it's like, oh! You just had to wait for it to dry, okay. All right, so here is my first roller. Looks just like this. Now that I've already detangled the section and applied the curl color gel, I'm just gonna take it on the outside. We're gonna roll. Okay, so my hands officially have pink on them. The roller is in. I just wanted to do like a test run to make sure it actually works. All right, so let me go ahead and take down the next section. So this is gonna be two rollers, one in the front right here, one in the back. Now what I'm gonna do is take some more gel. It smells really good. I don't like how loose it is. I'm not really a fan of the color. I wish the color was like a hot pink instead of a bubblegum pink, but whatevs. I'm just applying it on my ends first and then I'm working my way up the shaft. And I'm going up about 75% of the way. I still want my roots to be black. So it can have like a nice ombre effect, like black and then fade into that pink. Just hope that this is enough, you know? There's only but so much you could put on. It's just gonna, you know, start sliding at the end of the day. All right, so now I'm detangling really gently. Cool. All right, and then we're gonna grab another roller. All right, so I'm taking the roller and I'm placing it on top of the curl. All right, and then I'm just gonna roll for like two seconds and then I'm gonna take this one since it doesn't wanna stay and we're gonna continue to roll. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this and just like that, y'all see that? So it's on there and they're not going anywhere. They're stuck pretty much now. Once you secure it, these are called snap on rollers. Once you snap the top part on, it's secure and it's not gonna move. All right, so here is my next section right here. Again, we're just gonna go ahead and dip our hands. I'm just taking two fingers, dipping it into that product. I wish it was a little bit thicker, like for real, for real. And I am not a fan of the color, but I'm not gonna keep saying that because Y'all already know I'm not a fan of the color. Every time I put it on, I just want to say I am not a fan of this color. And you bear like, can y'all see that? Can you guys even see that? Hmm. 
Don't worry, we're gonna do more color videos because we're gonna find out which color works best with my hair because this ain't it. Oh. All right, so I'm just detangling through. And here's the color like wet. Yep, that's how it looks. And I, I like want to keep applying more thinking that it's going to make the color like darker or something. It's not. So whatever. All right. So now I have it here. It's already detangled. I'm just going to take the roller. I'm placing the roller on top of my hair and smoothing my ends onto that roller before I start to ravel up. And then we're going to take that top piece. I'm getting pink everywhere, y'all. And go ahead and secure it. And it's secure. We got three in so far. We're doing really good. If you guys like roller sets, that's something that I specialize in my channel. I am in the natural hair category or niche, but I specialize in doing roller sets. Um, I come from a background where I had a lot of heat damage growing up. So I now use rods and roller sets to, to manipulate my curl pattern. That's what we're doing. These are called snap on magnetic rollers and I will have these linked below so you guys can test them out for yourself. Cool. You can see it's all like pink up here. Okay, so I have a front section and a back section again because I don't want my sections to be that big. All right, so let's go in with this bubblegum pink. And I just start applying it at my ends and then I like to work up the shaft of my hair and then I use as much product as I need to. The first time I used As I Am Curl Color, I did have enough for another use. So I'm going to be a little bit more heavy handed this time knowing that I can get through my entire hair uh, with this bottle. I'm really not trying to work all the way up my hair but it's like doing it on its own y'all. The pink is getting everywhere. I want it to be like super duper pink. <laughs> Alrighty. So here is the roller. I think I already detangled. I'm just going to place the roller on top of my hair. And then I'm going to start to bring it forward. I am giving it a little bit of tension and that's how you make it smooth. When you apply tension to the roller as you're wrapping, it's going to get really smooth. And then all I'm going to do is take the top piece and snap it on just like that. All right. So it's on there and we're going to do it again. <laughs> Taking all that product going just like this putting it on the ends first getting it in there massaging it and we're gonna continue to work our way up yeah oh my god it's pink everywhere like just be alarmed like it's loose it's a loose product so every time i look up there's just another speck of pink somewhere <laughs> all right but that's the best that i can do taking this i'm going to detangle just making sure that the product is e evenly distributed amongst all the hair strands and then we're going to go in with the roller placing it just like that on top smoothing my ends before i start to wrap rolling it up with tension just like that and then we're going to take it and pop it on and it's on there all right so comments so far the rollers look good they're sturdy they're going on perfect there's no problem with the rollers not the biggest fan of the color not the biggest fan of the consistency i don't even think the red was this loose because i did the red like a year and a half ago so i don't remember how loose the red was but the pink is like really watery and loose i just don't like that but it's all about the end result so i really can't like speak too much on it right now because i just don't know how it's going to turn out we're gonna do three cool all right so here's our next one right here taking some more of my pink pearl gel starting roughly on the ends you see that like i don't really like the color maybe like if my hair was blonde or something it would look better i don't know my hair is giving jet black honey but as i am they know what they're doing i'm not gonna knock them they know what they're doing and i keep like raking the product through because i want to make sure that it's um all on the strands and then all i'm gonna do is once i get up is just detangle all right here is the next one right here we're already detangled and ready to go so let me show you guys how i'm doing it just placing that rod right on top and then i'm just gonna go ahead and start to wrap looking good looking good and then i'm just gonna pop this up right here cool like the rollers are super tight which is great all right so we're about in the middle of the head
right, y'all. So we're getting a little low on product here. It's about it's giving like halfway empty, a little bit more than halfway empty. Now the product's like right here. I don't know if y'all can see, but like right here is where the product. Every like it's it's going everywhere, y'all. It's kind of annoying at this point. Like the pink is it's very noticeable. All right, so we probably have like what two more sections, maybe three more sections until we can move over on the other side. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna run out of product. I have a very strong feeling I am going to run out of product, and I don't know what to do. So let me keep going going and think of a plan b <laughs> just in case we start running out of product which we are lord jesus <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm done. I may have to look online to see if there's any stores that carry it right now. Unfortunately, I think it's Thanksgiving Eve and I don't even know what's open. Um, and we're also running low on rollers as well. So I'm gonna have to make my sections a little bit more bigger on this side. I'm not even done yet. I still have all of this to do on this side and then we can move on. All right, y'all, so I took my gloves off. I'm just about done. I have this entire section to do on the other side, however, so I'm like a little bit nervous because there's not a lot left at all like at all at all and i i'm hella nervous right now on top of that like i need to count out how many rollers i have so i can make this hairstyle work this is just crazy y'all okay i just counted them i have 13 rollers left all this hair needs to get done this whole other side like i don't know how we're gonna make it happen but lord knows we about to make it happen even if i have to maybe like skip some in the middle i don't know yeah i'm not really happy with this video right now i don't like the curl color i don't like the actual color i don't like how it's applying to my head you you probably can't even see that there's pink in there like this is really sucky and then there's not even enough product for me to finish but like it sucks because i used this product before and i had such a good experience with it with the red and now i'm using the pink and it's like a completely different it's like a completely opposite experience and it just sucks like i'm not happy at all but still so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera i'm gonna try to finesse some things up i may have to like skip every other one at this point i'm not happy at all guys but like i said before i'm trying to like swallow my pride here like i said before let's just wait to the end even if this hairstyle doesn't turn out right i will do another curl color video for you guys and we'll just keep things rolling all right i'm back and i think i found the solution i have another pink curl color however it's not from the same brand this is from avon avian if i'm saying that correctly uh this is their pink so <laughs> what we about to do is mix these together because i know that i'm not going to have enough for this section so hold on while i'll get my life together so here is the pink that i'm going to be mixing in here's the pink so it's going to i'm just gonna take a little bit like we're gonna do like that much and we're gonna put it into here and we'll just go mix that in and see what happens okay the color is getting darker i should have did this from the beginning <laughs> god damn wow the color looks a lot better it's a lot more darker it's what i wanted wow color's a lot more thicker it's a lot more better mm 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 so with the one that i just put in from avian this is a hair paint wax this is a curl color gel so they are two different products a little bit but we'll be okay i promise all right so this should be enough to complete the back section i just added a little bit more pink in here and now i'm curious to know if this side comes out better than this side because it definitely is a little bit more darker it's not like a, a big difference but you definitely can tell so i just we just took a glop uh, a big gloop of this one and we put it over into the as i am and we're gonna put these gloves back on and we're gonna keep moving i told you i was about to finesse something I told y'all I was about to finesse something. Okay, now we got ourselves. Now we still don't have a lot of rollers left. We only have 13 rollers, so hopefully that's enough. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break my head down until I get a front section and a back section. Hopefully we can get like seven rollers back here, maybe four in the front. I don't know. We are gonna figure it out though. We got 13 rollers, we can do this. Whew. All right, y'all, so let me go ahead and knock this side out and um, I'll be back with a review of how the new color looks because we just mixed it hey y'all all right so i'm done 
here's what we're looking like at the aftermath of me mixing the Avian Curl Paint with the As I Am Curl Color Gel. I liked the consistency and I liked the color a lot better. I should have mixed these two together before I started. I didn't even think about that, but when I started running low, that's when I was like, oh yeah, I have another pink. Let me just mix them together and keep going because we finesse over here, honey. I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And this one has like the most on there because I was like scraping it at the end. I don't know. I hope it turns out nice. I unfortunately don't have much faith in this at all, but we shall see. Um, we're just gonna have to wait for it to dry at this point and leave it up to God. <laughs> I think I should sit under a dryer or should I, I think I should go to sleep in this hairstyle. It's only 6.45. I'm doing really good today, y'all. Usually I do my hairstyles at like 10 o'clock at night. So for it to only be 6.45, we're doing good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and rock out like this for the rest of the day. I may sit under a hooded dryer and come back on here. I may just take it out tomorrow because it, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So we'll see what's what, y'all. But hmm, I don't have a lot of faith in this hairstyle. I think the curls are gonna be really pretty, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see the color that much. And may maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we're gonna do a lot more curl color videos so I can like master this because I'm trying to figure out like why some colors work and some colors don't work. I, I wonder if it's just like my hair type or something like that. But if you guys are enjoying so far and if you're excited to see how this hairstyle turned out, then go ahead and like and subscribe to my page. I do all things heat free hair tutorials. And again, I specialize in rods and roller sets on my channel, just like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I will be back once this is dry, guys. Hopefully, you guys are hanging in there with me. Hey, y'all, what's up? So it is the next day. We are back and we're finally ready to take these down. I did go to sleep in this hairstyle. So here's how we're looking. I'm not sure if it's 100% dry or not. I sat under the dryer maybe for roughly like an hour. So fingers crossed it is. And we're going to hop right into it. So I'm going to put my gloves back on because when you're working with hair paint, I just don't want it to get on my hands. <laughs> So let me put my gloves on and we're gonna take this down. Regardless of how it looks, I'm gonna rock it and then if I don't like it, I'm just gonna wash it out. <laughs> and I do have the plastic bag that I'm gonna be putting the rollers right back into so they're just not all over the room. It's a really good tip for you guys. If you have rollers, put them back in the bag as soon as you take them out of your hair. Okay, so, and also if you guys recall, I put the As I Am Curl Color mainly on this side and then I ran out so I mixed it with the Avion. Well, yeah, Avion. I mixed these two together on this side, so I am interested to see what the differences are um, on how they come out. I think this side's going to be a little bit more vibrant, but we're going to see right now. But I am going to start taking them down in the back on this side and then working my way forward. All right, so let's go. All right, so here is my first one right here. We're starting right in the back. I don't know if they're dry or not. I'm just going to put this in here because I have to wash all of them, so I'm not even going to try. So here it is right here, y'all. Take it down. So I'm just gonna unravel it. Um, all right, so that's what it looks like. Cool. All right, so that's what we're looking like for that one. I'm gonna just unravel it as I go, just a little bit. So, it has a little curl to it. I'm not seeing much pink, however. Most likely, I'm gonna be washing this out, guys. I'm not even lying. Okay, a little bounce. Got ourselves a little bit of a bounce there. It does feel like it's a little, like it's getting on the gloves and it feels a little heavy. I don't know, we're just gonna keep going. Hmm, I'm not impressed y'all. I am not impressed. I'm sorry that I put the color in my hair because I should have just did the regular jumbo rod set without any color and the curls would have been lit. But now I have this like weird pink looking thing going on and the curls are still lit. Like, okay, a roller set is gonna do it every time, y'all. All right, so let me go ahead and take the other side off on camera and then we will compare to see if this side is a little bit more vibrant since I mixed two curl color gels together versus this side with, with just the as I am. So I'll be right back, y'all. But so far, love the curls, love the volume. I do not like the color. All right, y'all. Here is the hair. <laughs> curls are popping. My curls are always popping after a roller set. 
the color i think i just have to get used to it it is on my shirt and it's also on my pants when i was like separating mm, it has a lot of bounce but i don't know it doesn't really like fit me like it's the color it looks like i went into a hair store and just tried to figure it out y'all so whatever this is how it looks i like the curls i do i think i just have to get used to it it looks a little bit older like 40 and i'm in my 20s so i don't know about that but i mean they're just curls i don't know they're just curls it's okay so yeah this is what we're looking like it's, it's okay it's okay I like the curls still don't like the color it i'm definitely gonna be washing this out within like 48 hours probably today's thursday i will probably wash this out tomorrow y'all don't even play with me because i don't really like it <laughs> I'll, I'll redo the curls though and if you guys want to see more curl color videos just let me know i'll try something else i have yellow i have orange so we can definitely play around with some more colors y'all thank you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel again if you want to see some more curl color videos i will have them linked um at the end of this video and if you like this style go ahead and like it and leave a comment down below if you would try something like this too and make sure you subscribe guys my name is Aaliyah. this is as always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces <laughs>